Performing motor function tests on children is not easy in the real world because standardised tests don't always describe the child that you have. But a survey has been done right here in Arizona to help physical therapists learn how to deliver the best therapy for each individual child. I'm Deanne Fay, Professor of Physical Therapy Department at A.T. Still University. Now, Deanne, you have real good tests for children, but you've been looking at tests that have been worked out scientifically or on a rational basis, but in fact, they're used in the real world. What was the actual issue you were looking at in this new survey that you've been researching? Well, there were a couple things. One is there's a lot of tools available and there really wasn't literature across the board saying what are the physical therapists using. So there was some in particular settings, but we wanted to know for this particular age range of two to 10, what tools were being used. What are the things being measured? Um, we are measuring primarily motor skills, um, the child's ability to do physical activity, physical tasks, and then looking at if those skills are at the proper age level for those children. So could you tell me about the issue you were investigating with this very large survey of physical therapists? In addition to what tools were being used, we wanted to know what, why the therapists were choosing the tools they were using and then the challenges they were having, including were they having to alter or modify how they administered the tools in order to be able to complete them with the children in the clinic? Because you have to use assessments to find out what a child needs, but what were the difficulties that physical therapists have been coming up against that you were hoping to throw light on? Um, the tools are need, oftentimes need to be administered in a very standardized way with very specific instructions. Yet the children that we're having to administer these tools with often have attention issues, cognitive impairments, behavioral um, concerns. And so trying to complete an assessment tool and get that score at the end can be very challenging when actually administering them. What did you do in the survey and what did you find? Um, we asked the therapist, you know, what drove them to use particular tools and what challenges they found. And then we asked them about whether or not they were using modifications when they administer it. When they told the top reasons for selecting a tool, the top ones were the child's ability to complete it, the time to administer it. And then again, the challenges all became about related to the child being able to keep their attention on the task and the behavior issues with it. Um, and those fed right into the fact that a very large percentage of the therapists are in fact using modifications or alterations when they administer the standardized tests. So the major finding was that modifications are being made to standard tests? Yes. Um, therapists reported altering the instructions, adding demonstrations, using gestures, maybe allowing extra trials, all to try to get at what they felt like was the child's true motor ability, but altered how the test was supposed to be administered. Now, does that spoil the data that you're getting out of these assessment tests then? Yes, there has been some literature in the past that shows that typical children without disabilities when offered these same modifications might have changes to their scores. So in fact, when the tests are normed and that normative data is collected, those children were not given the advantage of modifications and alterations. So if therapists are doing that in the clinic, they're actually skewing the scores that are being reported. So are you giving a wrap across the knuckles to therapists, or are you saying that this is something that has to be done in the real world and needs to be coped with? A little bit of both. I think that we really need to focus on developing assessment tools that meet the demands of this real world situation, that our children with behavior, attention, language, and cognitive needs, in order to complete a test, it has to have some flexibility, which some of the standardized tests don't. On the other hand, in their current function or current status, the standardized tests that we have 
therapists really need to administer it the way you're supposed to, score it that way, and then if you modify, make that additional data you're collecting, but not compare it back to the normative scores.